Have you ever wondered how many horsepowers your car truly has? Have you ever calculated how long it takes to go from 0 to 100? Or maybe you have that one friend who just tuned his car, comes to you and says, man, my car now has 600 horsepowers. And then you wonder, is he telling the truth? Or maybe you just bought a car with 300 horsepowers and then you go on a straight, you go full gas and you say, really? So you want to test if the power is actually 300. In the past, to answer these questions, it was a bit complicated. Because in order to get the power and the torque data, you had to take the car and put it on a dyno. But I don't know if you know it, but some cars cannot be used like that on a dyno because when you start doing the test and the wheel starts spinning pretty fast, the safety controls on the car detect that the tires are spinning, but the car is still, so they cut the power. So for some cars, in order to test them on a dyno, you have to connect the official diagnostic put the car in a special mode called dyno mode and then you can test it. Moreover, you need a cooling system because the car is still. You ruin the tires because if you make many tests on a dyno, you destroy the tires. And if you want to do the acceleration tests, you cannot do them on a dyno. So you have to take the car off the dyno, find the road in safety, take the measurement tools and then you can get the results. Well, forget everything I just said, because starting from today, you can do all these things with this. With this tiny device that you put on the wheel, you can get all these data. Power and torque curves, maximum power, RPMs at which you get the maximum power, the results for every drag test. You don't do the official diagnostics anymore, because you use it on the car while driving it, so the controls don't go crazy. You don't do any more radars, uh, timekeepers with this, you will get data similar to the one that you get on a dyno. Which, I don't know if you know it, but a dyno costs between 50k and 150k. Apart from this, I don't know if you already saw this tool in the video that I did in November. Well, the price dropped by more than half, so don't worry about that. And it will be on sale for just a few days. But, let's go step by step. So today, in order to show you how this device works, we did one thing that I always dreamed, which is having an entire airport at our disposal. Look at that! An infinite stripe of tarmac where I will be able to push like crazy without infringing any law. And in order to do that we have two supercars. We have the Ferrari Portofino and the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Apart from this we will answer the question is it more powerful the Ferrari Portofino or the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio tuned? The Dino Road will answer this question. Now, let's make one step back. What is this and how does it work? This device is called DynaRoad and it's a device created by Magic Motorsports. I don't know if you remember it, but I did a video about this company in November. It's a company based in Italy, in Sicilia, and they produce the Flex, which is a device to, to remap the ECUs. And I will always say that they are so cool because look at what they did to make this video. Uh, apart from this, they, they open a YouTube channel where they talk about cars, engines, tuning, it's in English, check it out, I linked it below. Anyway, back to the device. This is a portable dyno. And how does it work? Well, once you buy it, obviously you can find all the tutorials and the guides. So here I will just do a quick recap. Basically, you put it on the wheel, you download the app on the smartphone, you can add the smartphone to the device, you calibrate and set everything up. You find a straight road without bumps, without, without hills, straight, and guys always do everything safely, keep in mind. Then you follow all the instructions and at the end you get the results of the tests. Now, as you can see, we have put the device on the front wheels and you may say, well, why? Intuitively, I would have put it on the real wheels because they are the wheels with the traction. Well, actually, no. You will put it on the wheels with no traction. That's because if you put on the wheels with the traction and with the power, you may risk that the wheel spins and you get wrong results. So at this point you may ask, okay, but what if I have a four wheel drive? I won't be able to use it. Yes, you will. You will always put it on the front wheels and you will use higher gears. So you'll be sure that you don't lose traction. 
So now that you know how the device works, we are ready for the first test, the power test. Will the Ferrari Portofino have the horsepower that they say? Will the tuning that we did on the Alfa Giulia Quadrifoglio make it more powerful than the Ferrari? At this point you may ask, why did we choose these two cars? The reasons are simple. First of all, they are Italian supercars, we are Italian and we are proud of them. And the second reason is that, I don't know if you know it, but if you take the Ferrari Portofino V8 engine and you remove two cylinders, you get the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio engine. They are the exact same engine with a different number of cylinders. And Moreover, the braking system is pretty similar, the weight is almost identical, so they are two pretty similar cars. Now, how will the test work? I have put the dyno rod on the wheel, I downloaded the app, I connected it via Bluetooth with the device, I activated and configured everything. Okay, so we fill all the data. Very important, the weight, we brought the scale with us, so we got the exact weight of the car, which is 1813 kilos. Then rear wheel drive, the tire size. Very important, the weight, guys. You have to consider your weight and the fuel weight. Then we choose the calibration. You put a manual and it asks in fourth gear at 3000 RPM, what's the speed? And we say 80 kilometers an hour. Okay, we confirm. Then. put it on manual, we close the windows, we go in fourth gear, which is the gear we will use for the test, and then we press start. And then we follow the instructions on the app. It asks to go below 1500 RPMs, and then, boom, full throttle. We keep full throttle, we follow the app, and then at some point we will put the neutral. Look at that. Neutral. We let the car flow while the app does the calculations. And now we're ready to check the results. So now let's take a look at the charts. Here you can decide how to export them and which approximation to put on the charts. Now, here are the charts. The results are 587 horsepower at 6,900 RPMs and a maximum torque of 663 Newton meters at 5,700 RPMs. It's close to what they say, you, you have to consider many things. First of all, the results that you see produced by Ferrari are taken in the optimal conditions. While today we are not in the optimal conditions, we're not using the best fuel, the car has 24,000 kilometers, it's a rental car, so we don't know how it was used. We have 27 degrees, it's warm, we have a strong wind coming this way, so if I run that way, I will get a different result than running this way. Also, you have to consider that the warmer the air, the less power for the engine. For example, I remember a race from two years ago where it was very cold and I was going one second per lap faster than my best lap just because of the temperature. And if you race on eye racing, you know that pretty well. And these are things that you always have to keep in mind. So it's normal today to expect a lower power and a lower torque. But what's cool about this dying road is that if you have two cars in the same conditions, the tool is great to evaluate the delta between the cars. So that's why I'm going to try it now on the Giulia. So here we are with the Giulia. We fill all the data inside. We go below 1500 and then boom, full throttle. So here we have the results from the Giulia and it's nice to see how they exactly represent what I felt. First of all, the torque is much higher. We have 750 Nm at 3300 RPMs. While the power is a bit lower, we have 548 horsepower. And I immediately felt a higher torque, as you can see from the video. And what's cool to see is that the char represents what I felt, which is a higher torque at lower RPMs. In fact, you can see that I got the highest torque almost immediately which was different than Ferrari Portofino where the torque was at higher RPMs. Another thing you can notice are those spikes at the end of the curves. I, I think they are there because this is just the first beta version of the mapping, which still needs to be tuned. Okay, now let's go with the second test. What I'm going to show you now is a brand new feature of the device. It has just been released when I'm recording this video and it's called performance. 
it allows you to do many kind of tests like 0, 100, 100, 200 or quarter mile, half a mile, one mile and you can even set your own test for example the acceleration time from 0 to 54 meters random number <laughs> and that's cool now I'll jump on the Portofino and I'll show you how it works and then we will see if the Giulia is faster or slower so I want to show you one thing look at the steering wheel those are the things that I love now start the engine manual shifter now here we select 0 100 kilometers an hour we press start and it's ready to go we press start now first gear launch control Brake down, full throttle. <laughs> Man, I love it. 346. Look at that. I could do this all day long. I could never get tired of this. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, now we go with the 100 to 100, and that's super easy. We press start, and we go like crazy. Okay, so we select the 0 100, we press start and we get ready. They told me that to use the launch control you need to push the clutch, first gear and then full throttle. What? Oh my god, I want to buy this car just to, to do this in every traffic light. Ah, I love it, I love it. Okay, manual transmission, manual clutch, I'm not expecting big results but... I'll do my best. Wow, 4.1, amazing. Let's try again. Four point three. Not not the best, but okay. Now we will try the 100 to 100. So we press start and full throttle, then it just starts to, to count, we just need to be ready to shift. Boom, 8.4, that's good. And the winner is... Yeah, she was faster in 0, 100 and 100, 200. I think the reasons are, first of all, the gearbox which here is automatic, so every time you change the gear, it's much faster and also you don't have the manual clutch, so in order to start, you just need to push the throttle and she does all the job and second, we have more horsepower here so even if the torque is lower, at higher speed, what matters is the power so from 100 to 200, we have seen the difference now, I really enjoyed making this video for you I really loved trying the Dyna Road for the first time now, we have an entire airport just for us, two hours left, two supercars. So thank you Magic Motorsport for supporting my racing season and giving me the opportunity to have fun. Now, I really, really wanna have fun.